Hey folks, it's Rithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to World of Warcraft. So, while I sit here, you are going to go and carry on where you left off last time. Enjoy! Right, there's a, there's a little mark on the map over here to say where the staff is, and we've also got some ore up there. The first ore for Cataclysm that we're going to go and get. And we're probably not actually going to do all that much with you. I don't remember if I'm even able to go and mine it. I think I can mine it at the moment. Though I don't, I don't think I, I, I don't think I've actually learned um, the mining skill that we need. I think I'm gonna have to go and do that. Maybe we need to travel somewhere and, and find it. I might have to. No, 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 no! Don't tell me I'm gonna leave it all behind. I really hope that's not the case. I need a target. Though I think there is. Is there a portal back to Stormwind from here? I don't think there is. I think the only way to get back to Stormwind is to go the long way, which is like take the boats and stuff. I don't really want to have to do that. But I'm also fairly sure that we've got to go to Stormwind. Well, it's, it's grey. It is actually grey, so you know, maybe we'll be alright. We can do it. I was worried for a minute. There, yeah, Elementium. You... Oh, because it's grey, I don't actually get anything for it. But let me have... If we go into professions a minute and have a look at our skill. Mining. Oh, yeah, you know, I can just go to mining over here. Uh, I've got Northrend mining. And i got regular mining. Kulteran, Legion. I don't have Cataclysm mining. Right, I'm zero of zero on that. Wait. Uh, smelt pyrite. Cataclysm mining. Uh, smelt obsidian. Cataclysm mining. Just a profession. We need a profession trainer for that. There's nothing else that you can do. You just go to a profession trainer. Which is going to be Stormwind. I don't think there is a profession trainer anywhere in this zone. Um, is he holding him in his teeth? I think he is. I think he's holding him in his teeth. Right, I want Sand Pygmy there. And there's another Sand Pygmy over there. I'm, I'm going to call him in and, and then have him he's join the fun. Away. And then we will do that. And we will do our AoE on the ground. And we will do that. And that wonderful heal. And I'll do that one as well so that we get a bit more... Um, Protection from all of the... Look at this. I'm taking them all down at once. Major Hyenas. And then we got Sultan Uga right there. He's the guy with the staff. He came out there. So we got some gold. We got two ornate fragments. We got the Sultan staff. And we got a green as well. Very nice. Right. How many fragments have I? I've got six of ten fragments at the moment. I felt that I didn't actually want to fall down the side there. But still, it's fine. And uh, I got a mangy hyena. That is literally the only one here at the moment. Right, well, we will very quickly take down this mangy hyena. And then we will have a little flappy around and try and find some more. We've got to find still more of the other... Wait, shaft of the... I, I just picked up the shaft. They're digging in the wrong place. Sultan staff, unique item. Uh, obtain, then use... Oh, use the elaborate disc. Right. So we've got a elaborate disc. Use that one to create the Shaft of the Stars, which doesn't now show up in our inventory because it's a quest item. So you don't actually get to have a look at it. So we've now done that. We've, we've created and we've allowed for that bit. So I've got a couple more Sand Pygmies there. I've got one right beside me. Let's just put down an AoE to make sure that he comes along with us. We've got a Meiji Hyena up there and then I've got a Sand Pygmy down there. I need to get closer. Come here. Right. Put that down on the ground like that and then go up behind them all and start hitting them as hard as I can. And these... Right, I've got this Hyena right behind me. I, I want to bring him in front of me. I don't like him being behind me. It makes me feel nervous going to chew on the back of my neck and I don't want the back of my neck chewed upon. It ain't right. I need a target. It just ain't right. I'm telling you. Right, there's major hyenas eradicated. We've got two more ornate fragments. So we've got two fragments to go and we've got three hyenas to go. There is some more ore up here which is 
pyrite. Pyrite deposit. This is kind of the rare uh, deposit for Cataclysm, but for the most part, if I remember correctly, the Cataclysm ores are almost completely worthless. Right, there is very, very little value on for resale, for auction house, that kind of thing, um, for the Cataclysm ores. Uh, there's not much... I mean, some of it has got... Obviously, there there is going to be some things. We accidentally upset the Temple Scarab right there. It's really what well do. Some things is going to be uh, valuable. Right, you, you, are, you are going to be able to get some bits out of it. Right, we'll do that, and we will do that. So that gives us extra damage while we've got our little wings out on the back of us, like this, which is really cool. Hit that one, there's one more, so I've got two hyenas to go. There goes the scarab, he's not going to do anything, he's just like a, an extra. And what do we got? i got one of those, so I need one more. Just hit, yeah, one more ornate tablet fragment from one more of those thingies, and we also want two more hyenas. We get both of those, then we can go and turn it into uh, what's his name? Right. Turn it into Dr. Jones. Dr. Jones is the chap that we need to see. The one that's going to make it all good. It doesn't appear to be... Oh, there's one. Come here. Let's get him down this control. way, and then I will do my work down here like this. And we will take out both of these. I, could, I ought to, be able to do this fairly quickly, actually, because only two of them. And we're doing some... We are doing some fairly powerful hits, if you see. We're getting some good numbers coming up now. And it's taking a big chunk off of the health bar of each of these. Look at that. Seriously? I just took two of you. would think one of them would have it. Right. Where are there? No, there's no hyenas yet. Oh. There's the thing. It's lying in the sand over there. There's actually two of them lying in the sand. It's always it's like buses. You, you you never find a bus you want, and then all of a sudden, 16 of them come along all at once. It happens every time, doesn't it? it happens every time. Look, and there we've got all of these sand pygmy things around. Hundreds of them. Uh, but I don't want hundreds of those. I want a mangy hyena right there. The other sand pygmy, we're going to have to take him out as well. Right, so let's, let's attack this mangy hyena. We will deal with him, and then once we've dealt with him, we can... Would you stop jumping around behind me? There's no need for it. We have one more hyena that I want to get. The sand pygmies we've dealt with as much as we need to. I need a target. There. A rending fang. Oops. Your cast didn't land in fishable water. Yeah, I'm not supposed to be fishing. This is not the time or the place. And there is the mangy hyena. If I bring him back over this way, I might be able to just take him down and avoid the sand pygmy over there. I'm not through it's any, you know, away. desire to see him live. It's more that I can't be bothered with the effort that's required to take him down. I, I'm, I'm nice like that sometimes. Right, do the world a favor. The world is a better place because of your deeds here today. That's it. Just get a little bit of XP, but that is the major hyenas. They are taken care of, and now we come back over here and we speak to Dr. Jones. So we've got this staff, and we've also got the tablets. Hey there. Be meaning to investigate this site. Well, no time like the presents. The presents? The present? What do you have there, friend? These tablets are covered with Titan writings. There's never before seen information here, Grandorn. Missing pieces to an ancient puzzle. Good work. Yes, Grandorn? I have the shaft of the stars, Dr. Jones. Dr. Jones puts on his spectacles. Let's have a look at this, shall we? What do we get? Uh, no, I don't think we'll take that one. This is from... Ooh. Okay, maybe we should take that one. That's an epic upgrade. Let's, let's just deal with that a second. Because that's... Uh, I lose 13 dodge, but I gain quite a bit of other stuff. I think we should. There we go. I think that was a good upgrade. And then you right there. No. You're not really the ring for us. And you're not anything for us either. You're not anything. Nope. Okay, See the rest of it we won't. You need something? This is remarkable work you've done, especially for someone who hasn't taken my courses. How do you know I haven't? I've studied a bit of archaeology under you. These tablets provide new information on several subjects. 
They indicate that these obelisks are part of an enormous ancient mechanism that once kept this whole region masked from the rest of the world. They also depict how to recharge the mechanism, which is where your shaft of the stars comes in. Get ready, Grundorn. We have some history to make. Be careful. Come... Oh, here. On to something. What can I do for you? Accompany Harrison Jones to the Chamber of the Stars. Yeah, let's go for, for it. For the Alliance. I'm ready, man. I'm ready. Let's go, Grundorn. Stay close. Where are we going? Why? Oh, we've got to go. We're, we're running down, down into there. Stay alert now. There's no telling what we might run into down there. Wait, where? Wait, watch, watch your step. What are you doing? I'm going to assume he wants me to go on the giant drop slide. But you don't jump into a drop slide on that side, do you? No. That's not how you do it. A drop slide, you're supposed to start on this end. And you're also supposed to make sure your arms and your, your legs are covered up so you don't get burns. So we, we'll go in here. I, I jumped out a little bit too far. Wait, what happened there? Okay. The drop slide didn't work very well. <laughs> Uh, yeah, we, we, we've taken a little bit of damage right there. What, what, what's next? What? Wait, what? That's not like any drop slide I've ever been on. If I drop in there, I'm... I'm wondering if I should have dropped in on that side. I, I don't remember now. I don't remember. No, that there's no way that I can do this without dying anyway. I don't remember it being like that. But at least we can do it. I, I'm pretty certain that what I needed to do was uh, jump in on exactly the same side that he did. Maybe that's what I should have done. Oh well, live and learn. We'll drop down into here under the obelisks of star... Uh, into the ch obelisk of stars into the chamber of secrets and... Chamber of stars, sorry. Obelisk of... So uh, I don't know, I'm confused. Except, right, you died. I'm sure there was a better way. Should I? Didn't we come down with a rope last time? Can I help you? Would you get a load of this place? I know it is actually pretty impressive. I, I should have had a little look around. Look, see, we've got these massive, great big statues all the way around. Uh, we've got ancient scarab markings, and look, we've got mechanisms way up there. This is quite an impressive place. What a find! And somehow it's all remained untouched by plunderers. Listen, Grundor, I need to document this site before we disturb anything. While I do, why don't you have a look around? You know, explore a bit. You've earned it. Keep your eyes open for anything unusual. Oh, and please don't break anything, okay? Have a good one. Right, well, we'll have a little look around. We can... We are able to mount up. All right, ancient mechanism examined. I don't know what I'm supposed to do, whether I'm supposed to just go to it and look at it, or if I'm I'm supposed to, if there's anything I can click on to, to look at it more. But there is an ancient mechanism. Look, it's doing something over here. No idea what that's doing. It looks like a giant piano. And... And we will look over here. Northern hieroglyphs examined. There. Hieroglyphs up there on the walls. And then we come around over this way. Interesting fact. The hieroglyphs that you see, or hieroglyphics, um, that you see in um, pyramids and on the religious texts on the walls in um, ancient Egypt, that wasn't their normal form of writing. right? That was a very ornate script that they used for special writing. But it was not their normal kind of writing. Their normal kind of writing was a um, was a very different writing altogether. I can't remember what it was. It was like, um, what's the straight lines ru runic script? It was a, like a runic script um, where it was like lots and lots of straight lines all put together. Um, 
instead of all of the, the pictographs. And it was a much more simple day-to-day -day use um, text that they had. It was quite amazing, actually, that they had these two separate... They had this entire separate language that was just for... Uh, religious ceremonies and and when they wanted it to look you know wanted things to look really really cool right your exploration of the chamber of stars has yielded more questions than answers yeah there's no denying that but we've got a skeleton over here every adventurer worth their salt knows never to set foot in a cave dungeon crypt or tomb without an ample supply of rope right you can never have too much of the stuff you resolve to scrounging every scrap of it you can find from skeletons here. Collect six rope pieces. Right, yeah, that's great and all, but when I came in here, I'm pretty sure I didn't use any ropes at all. Wait a minute. I'm not entirely sure that the skeletons should be getting up and, and actually fighting me. That wasn't that wasn't in the small print. I don't have a target. Oh he's he's gone. Where's he gone? He's right there. Right, well, I'm not quite sure what that's all about, but we'll take out these tormented tomb robbers here. This is what you get for coming in here trying to steal stuff from the tomb, right? You, you don't want to be doing that. These places have ancient curses on them. There's two pieces of rope, so we've now got three. There's another quest over this way, but I've got a couple more skeletons right there. Oh, there's another tomb, tomb raider, tomb robber. So I'll put that down there like that, and I'll bring that guy up. Go you, like that. And then if I go over this way, that should be three more pieces of rope. That down like that, and there's the last one. Right there, so now I can take all three of them out together. In theory. Whether this is actually going to work in theory, I don't know. That's a Schnotz Scout. Okay, I'll... Oh, I remember now. I remember. I'm, I'm not going to say anything. Schnotz. So that's all we've got so far is a name called Schnotz. Remember the name. Schnotz. It may be useful to you. Yeah. And there's three more pieces of rope. So we've got that one is ready. This unfortunate explorer has clearly suffered a bit of bad luck in the recent past. Prudence dictates that you perform the unenviable task of searching the corpse for clues that might shed light on your surroundings. After a quick assessment, you determine that this fellow has expired within the last several hours. We have spectacles or a journal. Well, the journal is a very important item, and we will take the spectacles as well. Objective complete, broken spectacles, but I, I suspect that the journal... Yeah, there we go. Look, right-click to read. I found an incredible sight. The whole area pulsates with the hum of ancient architecture like that huge, great big... Look at him. Look at that brute up there. Doesn't he look beautiful? Doesn't he look absolutely beautiful? Just a moment. No, I had to stop and have a look at it. Because, you know, that, that was very cool. Right. I found an incredible sight. The whole area pulsates with the hum of ancient architecture. If I if it were not so late in the day, I would investigate the chamber immediately. Sleeping tonight will be a struggle. A most productive day today. The chamber is indeed of ancient origin and houses a magnificent mechanism which seems to be in disrepair. I will investigate further tomorrow. This discovery will surely force Schnotz to take notice of me. How could he deny me a promotion after something like this? It has taken me all day to wrestle the cipher from these hieroglyphs. Through eyes of blue is starlight revealed. Ten shards, one rod, and the veil disappears. Forget Schnotz and his empty promises. If I can just unravel this riddle, its secrets shall be mine. I've done it! Using sapphire from the chamber's adornments, I have fashioned a pair of goggles. With them, I am able to see things previously hidden from view. Amazing. With my luck, with luck, my next entry will find me a newly rich man. Uh, yeah, that didn't work. And the, the spectacles, we don't have them because they're request items. So we've got to go and give those to Dr. Jones. And he's going to be the one that has the privilege, unfortunately. Um, I've got desert spiders over there. And I got these guys right here. So we'll, we'll take those three out right there. And then I got three desert spiders right there. Take those out as well. So there's six more critters that I have added to the guild achievement. Over here we got the... Ooh. I didn't realize we'd done that one. That's like... That's, that's very recent. Profit sharing right there. Loot 100,000 gold from creatures. That means we get the guild herald. That's very, very awesome. Uh, we're slowly doing this one. We got 4,000. Uh, next up, 
loot 200,000 from gold creatures. Uh, 200,000 gold from creatures. With 600 gold into that one. Kill 50,000 critters. I've just added 6 to the total on that one. I'm very pleased. So we're on 11,000 for there. Uh, why have I got the adventure guide come up? Oh, it's because I leveled up. And I didn't click on it. Okay, let's go and find Dr. Jones. We've done plenty of exploring around here. There's lots of different things to do. Lots of different things to see. But it's a, it is a big empty place. And you know, it could be rather difficult to escape from here. Like getting in seems to be easy enough. But getting out, that seems to be a little bit more tricky. The hieroglyphs on your tablets indicate that there's a way to get this mechanism working again. We just need to figure out how. What have you found, Grundorn? I found some rope. It's going to be... Ah, rope! Thanks, kid. Something tells me we're going to need this. Yeah, I reckon we probably will with you around. And we've got another epic upgrade. Look at that. Very nice. Uh, we lose 24 crit and 13 haste. We gain parry and master... Ooh. Right, so our avoidance there, our parry stays the same. So we lose 24 crit, but our parry stays exactly the same. We lose a bit of crit. Everything else just about goes up. Our parry stays the same, because what we gain from the parry, um, we lose from the parry on the crit. We gain in parry anyway, because of uh, what we've got on, and we've got the 15 parry. Uh, and we gain block. Uh, so yeah, that that is a good up. We want that one. We'll keep that one as a good upgrade. Any news, Grandon? Oh yes. Odd. It looks as if someone used gemstones as lenses. I should be able to fix them without too much trouble. Look at this, Grandon. Harrison holds up the dead scout's goggles. I tighten the clamp in the middle and crimp the wires on the edges. They may not be the most comfortable, but they should hold together. If I've translated your tablets correctly, there's something hidden here. The final piece to our puzzle. I hope your spectacles hold the key. Let me know what you find out. See you around. Nice, he's letting me do it. He's actually letting... An... Okay. Indentured protector. If we go too close to those, we know that we get trouble. Greetings. He's... But these are humans. These right here, these are humans. Suspended starlight, and there comes the in with swan to serve intruder, and so shall you. Yeah, but the thing is, these these guys are human, and the rest of the people in this valley aren't human, are they? They are the, the whole different speed, the whole other speed. I don't even know what they are. They're like centaurs, but cats. I I don't know what you'd call them. Captors? No, I, no. I I. I haven't got a clue. I have got literally no idea what you would call those, but um, yeah, they, they exist. They, they are there. So we'll go over this side. Grab that. Oh, oh! In come two more indentured protectors. So we need to be. We're going to have to take on two of these for each suspended starlight that we get, and we need to get seven of them. So we will keep flying around. Pick up the seven. It won't take too long. I wouldn't have thought. And take you down. Very nicely. There we go. And now we have a blue dragon hawk to take us around. And sand coming in there. Not sure that this is a good thing. It's a very cool sound with these. That is a very cool sound. Right. I grab you. I'm hoping that I can, like, fly away quick enough, but no, I can't. And they... It doesn't matter how far away these indentured protectors are. They... They seem to know. They all seem to know when I'm doing stuff that I shouldn't be. Right, well, we'll go and grab another one over here. This, this is going to bring at least two of them in. And... We got a Tomb Raider as well. Tomb Robber, right there. Right, if, if you lot could stop attack... There's another Tomb awesome. Robber right there. Uh, I, I feel that you, you're, you're ganging up on me a little bit right here. This isn't overly fair, is it? Right? I, I don't think I've done anything particular. Yeah, I've gotten a little bit of the starlight. But quite honestly, I think that uh, so, some of these things shouldn't just be left in tombs for anybody to get hold of. It should You should let people like me and Dr. Jones take care of them. We can do things right, you know. 
We're not we're not going to make mistakes like other people might. Put that one down. And what did you do in your life to deserve being indentured? Right? Indentured usually suggests that something has gone horribly wrong. I mean, yes, or maybe it was a forced indenture, so um, that, that that does happen as well. We will gather that one up there, and then he... You tread on sacred ground! You must be purified. Can I, can I gather another one? I'm going to try. Yes, I got another one. Right. I will take both of these now. See, I've got another indentured protector over there. He's coming for me, and we've got one more starlight that we're going to need to go and get. Take you down. If I can remove you very quickly, like that. Uh, redo that. You know I'm actually starting to take a little bit of damage. Perhaps we should eat a minute. We will eat. We'll eat one of our rhino dogs. We, we could do with some more cooking. We could do with getting some cataclysm cooking. I'm not going to worry too much about the cataclysm cooking. What we'll do instead is uh, when we get to Pandaria, we will do some cooking in Pandaria. I think that would be a better way of doing it. Right. We have now eaten. And we're also going to go to here. So we've got a Guardian Elixir. Guardian Elixir. Battle Elixir. Right. That is protection and protection. So I would go with that one. And I would go with that one as well. There. Yeah, that's going to help us out. Just a... All of them is so versatility and stamina by seven. That is armor increased by seven and strength increased by nine. All little things that will help us out. Right. Along this, uh, there is one last starlight. Let's grab you. And I got one indentured protector over there who's getting mad. Oh no, I got two of them. Two of them getting stroppy with me. Let me, let me just put that down and then we can... Get, right, there's one of them out. And take out the next one. Then I can go and turn these in. So we've got some... We've actually got, like, starlight. We, we, we're holding starlight now. Things are getting more magical by the moment. Dr. Jones. Where are you, Dr. Jones? I need to speak to you. We've got work to do, man. We have got work to do. Let's, let's climb off of there and speak to him. Hey there. So... Find any, anything interesting? Well, kid, it looks like you've done it again. Harrison points at an image on the tablet. This starlight is exactly what we're missing. Now we can get to work. See you later. All right, Grundon. Time to see what this staff of yours has to show us. What are we doing with it? What are we going to do? Okay, i got to admit, that is an impressive shot. Right, that is very, very impressive, being able to launch the thing all the way up there. So we put the staff in. What are we going to get? There's the giant piano at the back. It's going to select something. How is this? Oh, cool. I say, it's been a while since I've done the olden quest lines. I know that they're really good, and I do enjoy them, but this... This is very, very cool. I think it's very cool. What is happening to this guy? Please tell me we're not going to be bringing them to life. Bringing them to life... Where's the staff gone? Uh... Can I help you? Harrison grins. That's it, Grandon. The pieces we need are hidden in these statues. They look to be a bit off balance as is. Maybe just a little nudge. I must say, your field work is coming along nicely. If you applied yourself, you could make a fine archaeologist one day. Be careful. Right. Have a what can good I one. do to help? Just stand back, Grandon. We wouldn't want you getting hurt. Well, unfortunately, I'm going to have to interrupt things here because that is all we've got time for today. So if you've enjoyed this episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye and see you later.